So last week was weird. There was reports of Amazon's Alexa kind of laughing by itself. Randomly. Randomly. What was that about, A, and B, what does this kind of teach us about the entire digital voice assistant and the technology and where we're headed with that? Yeah, so, so just to catch people up on this, Alexa was just starting to like cackle for no reason or people thought for no reason. Amazon came out afterwards and said, if you say Alexa laugh, that was it. And it was in rare circumstances where it thought it heard you say Alexa laugh, even though maybe you didn't, it, it would just start laughing. Getting like a false positive. Just like unprompted. Yeah. It would just unprompted say Alexa laugh. So Amazon changed that where now you have to say Alexa, can you laugh? And then she'll say, oh yeah, I'll, I'll laugh. Here's my laugh, whatever. Right. So now they're gonna make it like preface the laugh with actual English. Right. Because by itself, I mean, yeah, we laugh at it. It was kind of creepy and kind of funny. By itself, it was sort of like, oh my God, something's laughing. This is... Yeah. Right, but it's, it's so the engineers were probably looking at this and, and the writers, you know, yeah. Amazon has like thousands of people working on Alexa. They were thinking, how do we humanize Alexa more thoroughly? Well, what do people do all the time that's actually like fun and interesting and quirky? Well, people laugh. Yeah. What would be more interesting than trying to get Alexa to cry, yeah, which by the way, I should try to do. I don't, I've never asked Alexa, Alexa to cry, cry before. For me. <laughs> cry for me. Uh, it's pretty strange, isn't it? It is bizarre. Uh, but, yeah, so it obviously like, blew up in their face. They were like trying to do this humanizing thing yeah. with Alexa, and this is this is the kernel here is that this really conveys how complicated it is to try to get a machine to like interact with humans and to create human conversation. And that's like people tend to forget that Alexa is really only about like three years old, yeah. and we have a ways to go for these machines to actually fully realize and fully understand what it's like to communicate with people. So. You know, the story that happened last week, it was a one-off. It's, it's hey, funny. Nobody got hurt. It's funny, no one got hurt. It's yeah. funny, it's creepy, but I think it speaks to a much bigger degree of like what is going on with the nascency of voice recognition and where it's sort of headed. I think people look at voice recognition and they think it's the future and then like we have this amazing technology from the future, but in reality, we're sort of just in the nascency of this. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, the thing that's fascinating to me about writing about this stuff is just thinking about this conversation. Yeah. Regular conversation that you have with your mom where you're not even paying attention, the level of complexity in the nuances of the conversation, the dialect that you use, the words you use, right. the, tone. It's, the tone, all that stuff is so difficult sure. to actually train a machine on that just two people regularly talking, it's way more complicated than you could ever actually realize. And you know, cramming that into code and shoving it into a machine, it could take years and years for it to actually work. And that's why it's this great uh, you know, scientific effort that yeah. a lot of these major companies are trying to do right now. Right, go, go a little more into that because right now Alexa and Google Home and all these assistants, they can really only detect voice, like mm -hmm. actual voice matching. They don't understand any sort of sarcasm or obviously or any sort of tone or the pitch in which you're talking. I mean, maybe surface level sort of stuff, but what does that mean for the challenges ahead and what are they trying to do ultimately? Because right now it's sort of like, okay, I can buy more diapers using my voice, mm -hmm. but where are we really headed with this sort of stuff? I haven't seen a lot of this out of Amazon or Google, but yeah. for some of these small, some smaller companies, uh, they really are trying to add emotional recognition and emotional understanding into voice assistants. Right. Because like when you say something, whether you say like, shut up or I can't deal with this or that's really funny, your tone has so much to do with it. And for a machine to like fully understand you, fully has to understand your tone. Again, it's like to layer that on top of everything else, it's gonna take a long time. Yeah, we got a way to go. Yeah. All right, cool, man. We're done. <laughs> <laughs>